All right, guys, so today we're going to be doing a video detailing basically what this tractor is. I've seen a couple of videos of them running, uh, but nothing about what the actual tractor is and the details on it. So let's take a look at this machine. So this is the newer style 300 series John Deere's that they produced uh, right around the same time as, or ex actually at the same time as the famous 425, 445, 455s. These were like the lesser versions of them, vertical shaft, belt drives instead of the shaft drive like the 400 series were. But this machine right here is a little bit special. It's actually a lot of bit special. Most of these machines had gas engines in them, but if you notice right there, it says 355D. If you notice on the front, it's a liquid cooled diesel. And now if you heard me earlier, you'll know that this is a vertical shaft. So this is a vertical shaft diesel, which is really cool. There's only a few of them that I know of, um, a few people who produce them. It's also got power steering, which is really nice. Tilt steering wheel, all the lights. It's only got 300 hours on it, at least this one does. Um, and it does run and drive, but I think I got some uh, air on the line, so I gotta clean that out. But yeah, I figured I'd just show you guys this thing. It's twin touch um, pedals, just like my 1025R, um, just like a lot of the newer stuff. There's your brake pedal right there. Came factory with five lug rears, which is really nice too. It's like kind of a mix between the newer lawnmowers and an old garden tractor. So it's still a little bit heavy duty, but a little bit cheaper and easier. That being said, when I say it's a little bit cheaper, I shouldn't have said that about this tractor. It's cheaply made. It's not a cheap machine. In today's money, the bare tractor would be about $13,000. It was $9,000 back in 2001. Today it'd be about $13,000. Now, if you option that out with a snowblower, a plow, a mower deck, and a bagger, you'd be pretty well close to about $17,000. For this, that's crazy. I can, that's probably why they didn't sell that many of them. Uh, or that is why they didn't sell that many of them, because nobody, nobody's going to spend that. Especially on a tractor that's not built as well as the famous 400 series of that era. I, I'm, I'd much rather a 425 than this guy. See if I can open this hood. This hood's a pain in the ass, or what's left of this hood's a pain in the ass to open. But another thing too is my lights on this still work. But let's take a look, because somebody's gonna say, "Oh, that's not a diesel." Let's just take a look right there. It's a Yanmar diesel. It's a 2V78 um, vertical shaft V-twin diesel. That's the other thing is the V-twin. Not many V-twin diesels out there. There's the John Deere number plate in there. If you wanna see what it is. Um, but it's pretty cool. So like I said, liquid cooled, there's your radiator on top. Um, and it's, you know, pretty much set up just like a liquid cooled twin or three cylinder diesel in some of the horizontal shaft tractors. Um, it's a really neat little machine. Um, I'm sure it'd be great, uh, for somebody who wants to have a very rare tractor, clean this thing up and you could probably just mow or plow with it. I'm sure you can find decks for them. They are, as far as I know, the same chassis as, let's see, the 325, 335, and 345. So I'm pretty sure it's basically the same machine, um, except this one's got the V-twin diesel. So if anybody wanted to put a plow, a snowblower, or a mower deck on it, all of those tractors, mower decks, snowblowers, and plows would fit right on this thing. Um, so pretty cool. At one point, it did have a snowblower, I can tell, because of the uh, brackets on either side. Uh, I think it also might have had a bagger on it, but I could be wrong. That also could be for weights. Um, but overall, not a half bad machine. Uh, kind of a cool rarity for me to find. I like pulling these rare tractors out of the woodwork and uh, getting to show them to you guys because, I don't know, I'm really into the rare and the, especially the super rare tractors that not a lot of people have heard of. I have a couple of guys, um, guys that were, they're diehard John Deere guys, diehard John Deere guys, and they've never heard of this machine. So that just goes to show you. And then I also am friendly with one of the largest John Deere dealerships in my area for many years. And they were booming right around the time this machine was out. And they said they sold one of them. And <laughs> this is probably it. This is probably the one that they sold. No, I, I, I don't know about that. But they only sold one. And they said they sold thousands of the gas versions. So it just goes to show nobody wanted to spend that money back then. 
But thank you guys for watching this quick video. Um, not too, too long, but just a little uh, background and history on this machine since all the other videos on here um, are just them running and driving because they're for sale. Um, so for all the garden tractor buffs out there, um, this one's for you guys. And now you know about the uh, John Deere 355D, one of the rarest diesel power John Deere's ever made.